My name is A.B. Fawn and I'm from Impex Records and sitting next to me is my good friend Nicholas Getz, son of iconic artist Stan Getz. And we are sitting at Nick's house in Marina Del Rey, California. Thanks for uh, sitting with me for a few minutes, Nick, today. Good to have you here. Thanks. So um, we are getting ready to launch uh, your dad's album, one of his most iconic album, Gets Gilberto, coming out uh, early 2024 to celebrate the 60th anniversary. Now we've been working on this album together with your mom for gosh, three years now, mm -hmm. about almost four, three and a mm -hmm. half years. Yep. So I want to get a little bit of your feedback and a little bit of your feeling. You know, we've been working on this for so long and it's finally coming mm -hmm. out. What are you most proud about uh, this release since the album's been reissued? 400 plus time. What makes this really special for you? Well, there's several things I'm really uh, proud of. We like to do work with people that are uh, into excellence, and your company is. We're very proud of having chosen to work, uh, chosen to work with you, and um, we also are very, very happy that it's a different release in the sense that it has memoirs from my mother who was an integral part of of this era of my dad's life and the Bossa Nova albums that were made between 1960 and 1966 and we honor her as well as my father for her um, important uh, role that she played for him not only personally but professionally in managing him behind the scenes and it has very proud of the fact that it has never seen before family photographs and it's a real collector's item that's never been done before and it, uh, it's something that is I think is spectacular and as I represent the Getz um, siblings, my siblings and my mother uh, I think they'll be very happy uh, with how this has worked out so we're happy to have chosen you and we're just happy to have this um, uh, all this available to fans of my father and hopefully people who don't know my father uh, will discover him again and uh, make him more relevant. Um, we were together um, during COVID in 2020 with your mom and uh, you guys joined us at the Bernie Grumman Mastering Studio. What was your thought about being at the studio with us? Well, since it's been 60 years since my mother has even uh, been involved really in this, it was a very touching and emotional experience to see her in the studio at Bernie Grumman's um, being moved by uh, reliving this experience. And uh, so that is my real recollection of that day, was to, to see how uh, it made her feel and it touched her. It was something special. It was great having Monica there, and I think she mentioned, you know, she hasn't listened to the uh, the tape since the original uh, recording. No. So it's been almost 60 years, and then no. to hear the the master tape at the studio. Yeah, it w it was something that I didn't expect. We on the drive home, she was uh, just I could see she was glowing and just really happy and. Uh, it brought back some happy memories of, you know, it wasn't always easy being with my father. Uh, they had their good times and their bad times, but this was uh, a wonderful time in their lives together. And she was happy, happy. To, to have experienced that day and relived the Bossa Nova years. Well, since we've been working on this um, reissue and we've been listening to this album over and over again, um, do you have a favorite track? Well. I know Girl from Ipanema is, you know, probably one of the most famous songs of all time and that's on this album and that's a wonderful song and my dad played so beautifully on it. But I would say Corcovado, uh, Qu Quiet Nights and Quiet Stars is, Bossa Nova to me is so elegant and timeless and sexy and romantic and relaxing. and. Yeah, and that song to me personifies this fusion of jazz music and Brazilian bossa nova. And so I would say Corcovado. Corcovado? Yeah. Well, that's one of, there's a, a live um, track of Corcovado as a bonus on, on our release. Yes, so. I know. And I think there's two bonus tracks uh, on this uh, collector's edition uh, re-release. And 
I think you'll really enjoy it. It's it's done live. It's a live performance of it. Um, you know, being the son of Stan Getz, uh, you know, after the success of Getz Gilberto and Jazz Samba, has that changed your life or your family's life in any way? Well, obviously, the success, you know, this is the only, uh, this was the first time that, that my dad and Jazz had ever superseded um, pop music for a brief time in the 60s. You know, there was the British Invasion and the Beatles, and, uh, but it actually crossed over and won in 1965 for Best Album and Best Song, beating the Rolling Stones and the Beatles. And, and uh, it, it's, it's a historic achievement, and we're very proud of that. And with it came my dad, uh, a windfall, uh, in that he was able to purchase his dream home in Westchester County, New York, called Shadowbrook, where there was a music room, and he was able to have Mark Levinson design him a studio where his friends would come over and perform all the time, Buddy Rich, and Dizzy Gillespie, and Miles, and uh, so it, it, it afforded him uh, also more free time to be with the family. and. Um, so there was some very good things that came from, from this. Um, and it, it, that part of his library has made him one of the most successful jazz musicians of all time, even above some of the other greats like Miles and Dizzy and, and uh, Count Basie and Nat King Cole, because uh, that it, it sells so well, not only in the United States, but in the rest of the world, in Asia and in Europe and South America. Bossa Nova, like I said before, it's timeless, beautiful, beautiful music. So, yes, many good things came from this era in my dad's life. It must be pretty cool growing up and having, you know, Duke Ellington, Miles Davis, stopping by the house, going into the studio. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to <laughs> drag this out to too long of a thing, but yeah, I used to sit on Ella Fitzgerald's lap, you know, all day when I was a baby. She, apparently my mom said she wouldn't let go of me. And Buddy Rich would, uh, would take me uh, and borrow me because he only had a daughter, Kathy. He didn't have any sons, so he would take me and ask to borrow me. And we would watch Yankees games at his home uh, in the city. And uh, every half inning, he would have me go to the closet and take out a block of wood and karate chop it in half. And I would go, that's so cool, Buddy. So I have many stories of, I played hide and seek with Duke Ellington at the Rainbow Room when my dad was performing and my dad would be very annoyed because he'd want Duke to listen to him and not play with me. So I have wonderful memories of these great, great people. I didn't realize who, how important they really were in the music world uh, and how iconic they were, but I was very, very blessed to be around greatness as a child. You are lucky. I am blessed. Well, thank you for having me over and thank you for sitting with me. My pleasure. So, um, I think we're shipping uh, early 2024. Check out Getz Gilberto, 60th Anniversary Edition, One Step, pressed on VR 900 vinyl. Thanks, Nikki. Thank you. Good to have you. Thanks.